Hello. Hi, can you hear me? Hi, how are you? Oh, there you are. I'm doing great. How was your day? How was your day? Uh, was was good. You're still you know active, right? I, I, uh -huh. I don't know why in this in this time when you do home office, uh, all the all the managers want to have a a meeting. Uh, uh. <laughs> for, for me, it's a waste of time. Yes, that is right. They all want to have meetings. I don't know why. To make sure that you're working and that everything is, is okay, that you're on the same page, I guess. But yes, it, it, it can be a waste of time. They can send you an email with the information, right? Simple as that. Ah, you, 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 you could send an information, you could send uh, the report, but they enjoy meetings. <laughs> The way you say it, <laughs> like you're so uh -huh. pregnant, that's funny. Uh, yeah, I, re I, I really hate that, but <laughs> I can do anything. Hey, it's a worldwide problem. You're not a uh -huh. Hold on, what about Katia? No, in New Zealand. Ah, Fatima too, right? Good evening. Hi, good evening. Fatima, no, in New Zealand. Let's see if they join us. How are you doing, Roberto? I'm doing fine. And what about you guys? I'm good. It's all good. Hey, don't you feel like when you're working from home, like Karen, we were talking about that, don't you feel like uh, you're less productive? Yes. No, I, I think home office is, product, is, is productive. I, ag I agree with home office, uh -huh. but the difference is, is between working home office in a, in, a, in a time without COVID-19. Oh, I see what you're saying. Uh -huh. But I really agree that after this Quarantena, quarantine. Uh, some uh -huh, quarantine. Some some companies uh, do home office. Oh, a lot of them are going to do that, at least partially. And I think we are productive, exactly. But I don't know. The day goes by really fast. That's what I feel. I don't know if it's only me or what. Fatima, welcome. How are you? Good. Mm -hmm. Great. Oh, and here's Jenny. I'm going to add her to the list on the tool I check. All right. Uh, we were looking at participle adjectives. Now we're going to continue with that topic. Can you read the objective, please? Roberto. Okay. By the end of the class, particip participants will com comprehend how to use present particles and past particles as adjectives as okay great let's watch the video and you will learn about participles used as adjectives in present and in past please take notes and feel free to play the audio program as well as the explanation as many times as as you need to page 87 exercise 3 Grammar focus. Participles as adjectives. Present participles. Stephen King's books are fascinating. The last James Bond film was boring. The new Halle Berry movie sounds interesting. Past participles. I'm fascinated by Stephen King's books. I was bored by the last James Bond film. I'm interested in the new Halle Berry movie. Before we begin, I want to go over to what exactly is the past participle. 
The past participle is the form of a verb typically ending in ed in English that is used in forming perfect and passive tenses and sometimes as an adjective. In this section, we'll study participles as adjectives. Pay attention. I want to go over two important points. Number one, do you remember what an adjective is? Very good. An adjective describes a noun. For example, the white cat ran away from John. Adjective, white, noun, cat. In other words, because participles can be used as adjectives, it means that the participle as adjective also describes a noun. For example, the white cat was exciting to watch. Noun, cat, participle as adjective, exciting. Number two. I imagine you noticed we use present and past participles during the audio program. Let's work around that. When we use present participle, we add ing. And when we use past participle, we add ed. Notice what happens here. We took the verb excite and we turn it into present participle, becoming exciting. The same verb, but this time into past participle, and it became excited. I know you're wondering when to use participles in present or past. Here you go. Present participles describe a noun, and past participles describe feeling of a noun. I'll try to simplify it. ing equals outside factor that causes a feeling. ED equals expresses the feeling or reaction. With examples, I am sure you will understand it better. Here, I am just showing you the present and past participle. Interesting, interested. Tiring, tired. Exciting, excited. Now we'll use them in sentences. The museum is interesting. I'm interested. Work is tiring. I am tired. The movie is exciting. I'm excited. Please complete the description below with the correct form of these words. As always, write your answers in our discussion box. All right, I just play this audio because it's, you know, part of the part of the program, but I know that the difference is clear, right? From what we did last night. Let's complete it anyway. So let's read this. Let me see. Katya, can you read the first paragraph, please? All the way here to Hello. You know, the first sentence. Go ahead. I had a terrible time at the movies. First, my ticket cost $10. It was really Disgust by the price. Because I was really disgust, disgusted. disgusted. Mm -mm. I don't disgusted. think it's disgusted. And maybe I, another, maybe another adjective. Mm. What do you think, guys? What adjective? Shock. Shock. Maybe it's shock, shock. right? But Confused. That ED it has to sound like a P, so I was shocked by the price. Very good. Number two, mm. Miguel Angel. Number two. By mistake, I had, I got the okay. cash at a, a five bill instead of a ten. I was a little uh, disgusted. It would be disgusted, but no, it's, I don't think that's the word. He was probably white, guys. Embarrassed. 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 Ah, okay, embarrassed. Very good. Continue, please, Fatima. Then there was trash all over the theater. The mess was disgusting. Yes, there you go. 
now we use we you we really wanted to use that word now you we used it <laughs> all right no hey, continue um the people behind me talked during the movie which was um annoying great all right continue uh, i'm not, sorry karen the story was hard to follow. I always find, find thrillers to amaze, to amazing. Uh, it would be amazing anyway, amazing. but I think it is another verb, another adjective. Another confused, confusing, confusing. confusing. I, no, no, confused. Uh, confused or confused? No, confused with Didi, Didi. Yeah, the thing is that we're talking about thrillers. Confused. They confuse you, so you are confused. And thrillers are the ones that confusing. Confuse. Yes, they are confusing. And the last sentence, Noe. I like the special effects. So they were amazed. Amazing. <laughs> okay, great. Awesome. So is everything clear regarding that topic? I guess it I is. Guess. All right, now let's do this, Add, uh, this exercise here, Fatima. Mm. The, the first one, or the instruction? No, just the first one. Uh, Johnny Depp is a very amazed actor. The second one, you think? Amazing. 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 All right. Um, Why? Why would you say that? Hold on. I'm going to summarize it again. Remember, Evie is the one that receives the, the feeling, right? And I... There is an ING is the one that produces it. Okay. Do so you think that he feels amazed right now by no. something? Yeah, okay. no. Johnny Depp is a very amazing actor. All right, great. Number two, Miguel. Number two, I find animal films amusing. 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 Amusing, yes. Great. Thank Number you. three, Noe. Um, I'm not interested in science fiction movie. Okay. Interesting. With ED or ING, Noe? ED. Great. Next, Roberto. I'm bored by watching television. Great. Katia? I throw Jurassic Park was an exciting book. Got it. Oh, excited. Exciting. exciting. Got it. I, am, I am fascinated by GRR Talking's novel. I'm fascinated by great. Miguel? Mm, it's Surprising that horror movies are so popular. Great, no, eh? Popular. I was really um, shocked by the price. Oh, it's not even an option. <laughs> yes. The same option. Just the last one. The, the second one. Okay. I think it's, mm -hmm. it's was, wrong. Yes, it is wrong. I was really shocked. Pronounce that T at the end. For the, because of the E. Okay, in number nine, Roberto. The mess was disgusting. Right, and finally, Katia. I always find thrillers too confusing. <laughs> Great. Let's see, and everything is right. Yay, great job. Remember this one? 
This one right here is the second one, okay? It's supposed to be excited. I mean, no, it's not that one, right? No, number eight. Number eight. Yes, it's the second one. It's supposed to be shocked. Okay, let's move on. Now we're going to study um, more about adjectives. Read the adjective, please. Katia? In this class, you will learn and classify synonyms for common adjectives. Great. Let's watch. Hi, ready to work? Go over the list of synonyms and place them under the correct category. Please listen to the following list. For you to work it out, you must make a chart on your notebook like this. So go ahead, listen and place the synonyms properly. Make sure you ask your teacher to double check on your answers. Absurd, bizarre, disgusting, dreadful, dumb, fabulous, fantastic, horrible, marvelous, odd, outstanding, ridiculous, silly, terrible, unusual, weird, we want you to write four sentences using the words learned under the correct category. Please listen to the following list. Category. All right, let's read them. Uh, absurd. 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 Bizarre. 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 Okay, disgusting. 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 Dreadful. 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 Dumb. 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 Fabulous. 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 Fantastic. 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 Horrible. Horrible. Marvelous. 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 Outstanding. 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 Ridiculous. Ridiculous. Silly. Silly, 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 terrible, silly, terrible, 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 unusual, 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 unusual. Weird. weird, weird, weird. Okay, I won't give you a definition of them because I would like you to put them under the right category, okay? So if you can um, use your notebooks, we're going to work in small groups to put them here. And I also want you to think of... Uh, two examples for each category, okay? So when we come back, I would like you to tell me some examples and where you place them to see if both groups place them in the same position. We're going to compare at the end. Is that clear? So put them under yeah. the right category and write two examples for each category. So that means eight. Eight sentences total. So you can talk about people we all know in the country or in the world or places, all right? Okay, so let's work in groups of three. Accept the invitation, please. There you go. We have three. Hello. Hello. Hi. Uh, who's dead?
Let me see. Okay. Okay. Third is the first one. Absurd. Absurd. Okay. I think that's good in. in it's stupid. stupid. Yeah. Absurd. Absurd. Mm. Bizarre. Wonderful. Oh, Apple. Awful. Mm. Awful. Um, Apple. What does it mean bizarre? Bizarro. Mm. <laughs> mm. Actually, I don't know how to explain it, but bizarre. Bizarre. Mm, bizarre. Where do you want to place it, Katya and Robert? Because I see that you're not agreeing on it. What do you think? Awful or wonderful? I don't know. Awful. Mm, I, would I think it's awful. Because it kind of gives me, yes, bizarre is very strange or unusual. Strange. Strange. It is strange. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. Bizarre. Yes. It's a synonym of weird, actually. Ah, okay. Well, I'm giving you the categories now. Como algo malo. Okay. Algo... Como algo... Que alguien extreme. Haga, algo bizarre. algo bizarre. extraño. Something Ajá, bad. Ajá. Bizarre, bizarre is a la synonymous of a strange. Yes, it is. And it's bizarre. Strange, bizarre. Bizarre. And, uh, and uh, disgusting. Disgusting. Disgusting is in awful. Yes. Um, disgusting is in awful, awful. yeah. Awful. Dreadful. What, dreadful. Is the, what is the meaning of dreadful? Dreadful. Dread, dread, dreadful. Terrible. Terrible. Awful. Terrible. In, in awful. In category uh -huh. of awful. So dreadful and then? Dumb. Dumb is in stupid uh, category. See, see, it's, it's category. Stupid. Okay. Dreadful. 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 It's in wonderful. Fabulous is wonderful. It's in category of wonderful. That would be fantastic fabulous. too. Fantastic is wonderful too. It's in yeah. Um, horrible is um, awful. Awful. Marvelous is in wonderful. So, yeah. so uh, it's, excuse me. Fabulous. Fabulous is wonderful, right? Wonderful. Fantastic yeah. is wonderful. Wonderful. Uh, yeah. ho horrible. It's in awful. 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 And then marvelous. Marvelous. Is wonderful. Wonderful. Yeah. Uh huh. All is a strange. All yeah, is it's strange. Strange. Outstanding? Mm. You say pairs and all. But in this case, it's an adjective. And then it's, it's like weird. I, I think. So, so strange. Outstanding goes wonderful. Wonderful, yeah. Wonderful, outstanding. Mm -mm -mm. Ridiculous. Stupid. Awful. Okay, stupid. Because apple, really? Yeah, stupid. because apple is something that is not good, but 
ridiculous is it has not any sense. It's ridiculous. It's like stupid. I think yeah. it is going awful. I think it is stupid. Yeah, me too. May your are the wings then. We are in a strange. We are a strange. Yeah. So we have to to make make sentences. I don't. I have one sentences of each word. No, two two examples for each category. Ah, two example of each category. Yes. So eight, eight total. Okay, the first one awful, disgusting. Uh -huh, something we all know, awful or disgusting. What could be something disgusting? So, uh, extreme, extreme. Uh, no hot. How temperatures are disgusting in this time? <laughs> yeah, they're disgusting. But is correct hot temperatures? Yes, hot temperatures or high, high temperatures. High. Are... Mm -hmm. So this person, awful. Disgusting, dreadful, horrible. And... Disgusting, dreadful, up, horrible. Mm. Let me see. Disgusting. Uh, a the guy, new. like a guy. Uh -huh. Um, I I forgot how do you say. Is there no that? Ah, sneezing. Sneezing. No, it's sneezing. The guy is sneezing. So I, I, so a guy is sneezing and she, he, sorry, he didn't cover his mouth, so. That was disgusting. Ah, oh, great. Good example. Okay. And you can. Are you right? Missing. be an, um, an exercise uh, an example um, yesterday I was see I, I was see a wonderful movie <laughs> sorry it's a bad reading. no I think watch yesterday I watch a wonderful movie really? that worked how many sentences have you written so far? Uh, three. Three, okay. Six, three, got it. Three. Three, with more air. Three. Three. Yes, that's better. So, I, I watch a wonderful movie. Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah I watched a wonderful movie yesterday. Mm -hmm. So the fourth is uh, I uh, we are a fabulous team. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that is <Okay>. right. <laughs> I, ag I agree. <laughs> and with a stupid. Uh, stupid. 
Um, I think uh, um, I want to stupid. Um, I think. Um, uh, I, I have one. My boss sometimes asks me some, uh, some absurd, absurd uh, uh, informants, uh, uh, reports. Reports. I, 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 uh -huh. I don't know if it's correct. My boss sometimes asks me uh, some absurd reports. Yes, it's he correct. Asked, he asked teacher. me for he asked me for some absurd reports. Yes, it is correct. Yes, I have to tell you this 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 day. So I, I feel okay <laughs> right now. <laughs> you needed to vent. <laughs> uh -huh. And. Uh, I think we still need one more example of a stupid. Uh, for example. Hey, did you uh, hear what Monica Casamiquela said? Ah, yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> that could be an example. She was, she yeah, was she, silly. <laughs> yeah. She is a need to um, money, and I think that. It is wonderful that the people help each other. We can say that. This is two long sentences. You, <laughs> <laughs> you have a Sorry. nice name to hurt. <laughs> we can say that, I don't know. Oh, it's wonderful when people help, help. other people. Yes. Yes, we can we can say that. It's wonderful. Helping other people. No, it's fantastic. No, it's wonderful. Yeah. Fantastic. When it's people, marvelous. When people help. Okay, I guess everybody finished. You will see Noe will be the last one. Look, Fatima. <laughs> Noe is always the last one. <laughs> He's like, it's, it's, break is over. He's the last one. All right, um, let's see. What did you write? Let's see if we have the same information. Where is it? Here it is. What did you write under the awful category? You're muted, by the way. Everyone's muted, so I can't hear anyone. Disgusting. Okay, let, help me complete it. Let's see if we have the same. So you wrote, on their awful, you wrote disgusting. What else? Oh, this is so big. Dreadful. dreadful. Please. Dreadful. Did everybody write dreadful here? Awful, dreadful, it could be, yeah, it could be. Horrible. Horrible, horrible, okay. Okay, under Terrible. what did you write? Terrible. Uh, okay, let's see, wonderful. Fabulous. 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 Fantastic. Fantastic. What else? Marvelous. Uh -huh. Outstanding. 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 Very good. Outstanding. Great. Stupid. Silly. Absurd. Fabulous. Absurd. What else? Dumb. 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 And there's one more. 
ridiculous. Marvelous. Now, under strange, what are we going to write? Strange. Bizarre. 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 Odd. 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 Unusual. Unusual. And, Unusual and weird. 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 This is the right one. Fantastic. Okay, now give me an example for this category. Anybody? I'm going to unmute everyone, okay, so you can participate. Okay, give me an example with the stupid category. <laughs> That's stupid. <laughs> that, that didn't sound right. <laughs> Good example. <laughs> All right, tell me You what. just gave it. <laughs> okay, using one of these. No, Ed, yeah, tell your example. Tell us. <laughs> uh, Monica Casa Miquela is a... Uh, a silly girl. <laughs> <laughs> what she said was silly. All right, great. Thank you. Wine under okay. wonderful. Wonderful. It's wonderful helping other people. Okay. Helping other people is wonderful. Ah, okay. Right. Backwards. So, yes, so helping is the um, is the subject of the sentence. All right, great. He awful. The awful category. The last Barcelona game was terrible. Okay, terrible, very good. And finally, strange. Strange. Nobody? Mm, the I behavior think. of a mm. drunk man is weird. Yes, very good. And also the measures we're experiencing as humankind are bizarre, right? So don't you feel like everything is bizarre? No. You I don't know. know. But the measures and the well, maybe because you're going out and working, you don't feel like that. Ah, uh, that's true. Okay, very good. We're going to do this listening exercise. So let's read um, some of the the options. Number one says fascinating, silly, strange. We're gonna listen to four conversations, if I'm not wrong, and then decide what the adjective is. So please write down the adjective as you listen for each conversation. Ready? Yeah. Here we go. Page 88. Exercise 5. Listening. How did you like it? Part A. Listen to people talk about books and movies. Do you think each person would recommend the book or movie? 1. What did you think of the new Stephen King book? Oh, once I got started, I couldn't stop reading. I stayed up till 4 o'clock in the morning to finish it. And wasn't the ending great? Yeah, it really was. Such a surprise. And the whole story moved along so fast, too. 2. How did you like the movie? Well, I walked out after half an hour. You did? Yeah, it was so dull that I started falling asleep. And I've never seen such bad acting from Jim Carrey. Oh, really? He's usually pretty good. Well, not in this movie. I wish he'd choose better roles. 3. What did you think of that documentary about Australia? I learned so much. I didn't know they had so many different kinds of animals there. And the photography. Yeah, it was something, wasn't it? Uh-huh. It was pretty amazing. It made me really want to go there and see it for myself. 4. Have you read that book that just came out about UFOs? Yeah, what a waste of time. 
Just the same silly stuff about visitors to Earth from other planets. Uh-huh. It said absolutely nothing new. You know, I'm sick of hearing stories about little green creatures. If they're real, how come no one can ever take a picture of them? Page 88. Exercise 5. Part B. Listen again. Check the adjective that best describes what they say about each one. Do you have the answers or do you need to listen to it one more time? I have the answers. I think they are. I have the answer. Yes, right? I think that was enough. <clears throat> Number one, what's the adjective? It's fascinating. Great. Number two? Um, boring. 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 Three. Um, dreadful. 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 Remember, terrific is something good. Okay. Yes. Uh, a four. Ridiculous. 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 Let's see if that is right. There's a mistake. It's not dreadful. What? We can guess it or try to get there. Hold on. Let me see if we can listen to number three. Sleep. And I've never seen such bad acting from Jim Carrey. Yeah, it was something, wasn't it? Uh-huh. It was pretty amazing. It made me really want to go there and see it for myself. I think that's number three. So what would it be? Terrific. Terrific. If that's number three, it should be terrific. Yes, it is. Terrific is a good thing. Okay, terrible yes. is a bad thing. Yes. We, we sometimes confuse terrible with terrific, I think. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Now we're going to be working about uh, relative clauses. If I'm not wrong, we studied this with some of you. Well, Katia, Roberto, right? We studied this uh, last module, so it shouldn't be complicated. We're going to see how it works and practice it probably next week, depending on how long we take. Um, can you read the objective, please, Karen? By the end of this class, participants will learn to use relative clauses in order to join two ideas into one. Very good, thank you. And let's watch. Hi, we have previously studied relative clauses of time. Today we'll study relative clauses using relative pronouns. Who, which, that. As you realize, these sentences contain two clauses, a main one and a relative one. For example, he is the actor who won two Academy Awards. Page 89. Exercise 9. Grammar Focus. Relative Clauses. Use who or that for people. He's an actor. He won two Oscars. He's an actor who won two Oscars. He's an actor that won two Oscars. Use which or that for things. It's a movie. It stars Kate Winslet. It's a movie which stars Kate Winslet. It's a movie that stars Kate Winslet. We want you to know what relative clauses do. They join two sentences together and give information about something in the main clause. Relative clauses are joined by relative pronouns, who, which, that. Who is used to join clauses about people. Which is used to join clauses about things. That is used to join clauses about people and things. Hope this topic wasn't so complicated. Try with these following sentences. I will give you the first part of the sentence and you finish it using a relative pronoun. Ready? Brad Pitt is an actor. Gladiator is a movie. Okay, how to join classes about things. That. How would you complete these two sentences? Brad Pitt is an actor, and what is the relative clause we need? Who won an Oscar? 
who won an Oscar. Okay. Yeah. Yes, and Gladiator. Gladiator is a movie that um, it was nominated. Was nominated. Uh huh. Yes. Okay, that works. Very good. So we're using basically WH words to connect ideas, right? Give more information about what we're saying. We're gonna break the sentence. First, let's do this exercise and see if we can put it together. We're gonna be using who or that, which or that, all right? So the options are which, who, and that. Number one, Fatima. Um, who is Ang Lee? Mm -hmm. He's a movie director who made the film Hulk. He's... Okay, I think we have to write the complete sentence here. So he's a yes. movie director who made the film Hulk. Oh. Hulk. All right, very good. Number two, Roberto. Have you heard of Pirate of the Caribbean? Yes, mm -hmm. it's an action movie which which stars Johnny Depp. So what am I supposed to write? Yes, like that. Hold on, it's an action movie. Yes. Which stars? Stars. Are you working on the platform, guys? This is section three point ten, by the way. It's an action movie, which, which stars Johnny Depp. 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 Yes. A Depp. three. No, eh? Um, Chicago. It's a musical. Um, that. A girl become a celebrity. It's a musical. You need to use who or that. Right, who, which, or that. Let me see. It's a musical about a girl. Ah, okay. Yes, it makes sense. It's a musical about a girl. Who? Who Instead about a she, girl who, who becomes a celebrity. Okay. Number five, Miguel Angel. I can't hear you, Miguel Angel. Sorry. <laughs> uh, did you enjoy John Grisman latest latest novel? Mm -hmm. Um, that is what a great book and was hard to put down. Yes, how are you going to join those sentences? Um, yes, he is a um, no, 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 no encuentro. Okay, so you have to use which, that, or who. That's it. Mm. it. It was a great book. What do you have to use? Which, that, or who? That. It was a great that book. It was hard to put down. That, you want to say? That was hard to put down. Let's see. Let's see if that works. And there's no thing. No, there's no thing. It's a movie director who made he's a movie director who made the film. Oh, period. A period. Maybe I'm missing that period, maybe. A period, yeah. Right? <laughs> Unbelievable. 
All right, now I'm going to tell you some words, and I want you to help me make, um, we're going to make a clue, because this is what we will do next class on Monday. Today is Thursday, right? Yes. I don't even know what that is yes. anymore. There's so much confinement here. <laughs> All right, for example, mm, 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 I'm going to say school. We are going to practice more relative clauses than the ones that we learned. So we're going to practice where, we're going to practice when, okay, which, who, why, na na na, let me see what else, what am I missing? Who, why, which, when and where. We're going to be practicing those, okay? Not only the ones we learned. Where we're going to use all these words for places and when for time. So if I tell you school, you're missing you what? That. Uh, you're not using that. I'm, I'm missing that actually. That. All right. Very good. So what can I say about a school? Imagine that you don't know this is the word, and I have to give you a hint so that you can tell me school. What's the sentence I have to give you so that you answer school? School is a place uh -huh, which people place. use there for to learn. It's a place, but what are we going to use for place? Where? Where? Okay, it's a place where people learn or go to learn. What would your answer be if I tell if I told you? It's a place where people go to learn. Would you say it's cool? Yes, right? Yes. Most likely you would say it's cool. All right, let's try with a different word. We're going to say dollars. Let's make a sentence with that. Is the currency? Uh-huh. Which? Very good. Currency which is used in El Salvador. Um, uh, which is used the currency which is used yes which is used in El Salvador very good. Okay now it's going to be um hold on Teresa Calcuta right. Like this? All right how would you make that sentence? Teresa Calcuta is the woman. But don't say, don't say Teresa Calcuta. We're, because when we play on Monday, you cannot tell the word. Because the other person has to guess it. Oh. Yes. So we're just uh, practicing for Monday. Uh, we, uh, the woman who won we the, need to say uh, the sentence. Uh -huh, exactly. So on Monday, I'm going to give you a list with these words. Like school, dollars, and Teresa Calcuta. It's, it's like playing charades. The other person has to guess the word that you have. Uh, and you have to give them a relative clause. He won an Oscar. Uh-huh. Okay. No, so he won a Nobel. A Nobel. A Nobel. A woman. Who, a woman who, who won a Nobel. A Nobel. Oh, I, I wouldn't know the answer for that. Is that the only woman? Or can you be more specific? I don't know. I don't know who she you can give more details, guys. It's a woman who won a novel and was known for being generous, right? Yes. Okay, so you can give more details. As long as you don't say Teresa Calcuta, it's all right, and you have to use the relative clause. So this is the exercise or the game. Actually, it's going to be a game that we're going to play on Monday. Uh, any questions? No. No? No? Okay, so until Monday, we're going to practice that through speaking, okay? Sorry, what did you say, Fatima? Okay. Can you give us the words? Ah, the words, no, not until Monday, because you're going to be student A, student B, so you cannot see them. She wants to practice. I do. Yes. No, but you can make your own, Fatima. If you wanna, if you want to practice, I don't, practice I, using your objects at home. I don't like the unknown. <laughs> <laughs> oh, All right, no, well, I can't do anything about that. <laughs> okay, thank you very much for being in class, guys. I'll see you on Monday, and I hope you have a beautiful weekend. Have fun. Thank Somehow. you. Too. Too. Goodbye. Thank you. Bye. Too. Good night. Good night. Bye. Bye. Bye.